All right, every week at this time, we will visit with Auburn linebacker Elijah McAllister. He is with us now on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. What is up, Elijah? How are you today? Doing great. How are y'all? Doing awesome. First of all, congratulations on being named a team captain. Captain. Yes, congrats on that. Thank um, you very much. Yeah, I mean, it's a huge thing. But I want to ask you, because you tweeted out, after being named team captain, this. Um, truly an honor. I give my all. I'll give my all for this team and university by the grace of God, War Eagle. And I would ask you, how does a guy from New Jersey who played at Vanderbilt, who's only been on this campus for what now, eight months, have that type of feeling about his team already? Yeah, I think it just stemmed from, you know, my authenticity of who I am and how I show up every single day. Uh, it was a player voted thing. Coaches had no say in it. And I was just like blessed to be able to be named one of the four and have that respect for my teammates. I think they felt comfortable picking me because of my authenticity, how I show, show up every single day and just, you know, who I am as a person, as a player. And that's kind of how it, you know, shook up. I'm just happy and, and blessed to be able to you know, have the opportunity to lead these guys. And I feel prideful in who I am as a player and my teammates in the university. So that's, you know, kind of why I tweeted it and I wanted to make sure, you know, people knew. You know, first day of school, uh, first day on a new job, those can be awkward situations. Not only go, uh, they're not always the best situation, but the first time you walked on campus and you walked in with your new teammates, were you comfortable immediately? Yeah, I honestly would say I was comfortable immediately because, again, I'm not trying to be anybody that I'm not. I'm not trying to make sure everybody – uh, likes me all the time. I'm not trying to make sure I'm, you know, servicing. I'm not trying to make sure I'm doing anything. That's not what I feel is right. And the whole truth to the core values of who I am as a human. So it was never something that was difficult for me because I know who I am on uh, the things that I stand for. So I felt comfortable uh, from the first day there. And honestly, it's easy to feel comfortable at a place like Auburn with the people because it's such a place with heavy tradition and people who love their football and love their people. Uh, did you have to sort of take a deep breath? Did you get emotional? Did you tear up a little bit? Because you're you're a manly looking man. You're a beastly guy. You tear people's heads off on the football field. <laughs> did all of a sudden did the big cap did cap all of a sudden tear up? Yeah, honestly, I, I felt some type of way about it. I, I, uh, my heart was beating a little fast, and I, I teared up a bit just because again, it's an honor to be able to be named a captain of this great university. And honestly, the biggest part about it is that it's player led. The players voted it, and that shows kind of the respect they have for me and the other uh, three captains that they selected. Elijah McAllister is with us, uh, the Auburn linebacker on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline as Auburn gets ready to take on UMass. Uh, 2.30 ESPN is the kick time. How big of an advantage is it in game prep for them to already have one game of film for you to look at? It feels good to, for them to already have played in week zero because now we have something to go off of and something to watch this week. And honestly, not going with the lines I are looking at last year's tape. So we have some substance from this year, and I'm just excited to put our best foot forward on tape and do what we know best and play our hardest and play well. Hey, UMass has got a really mobile quarterback that played at Clemson for three years, and he had a little experience. But watching him the other day, he was all over that field. Um First of all, is there anyone that can pronounce his name? <laughs> I know you guys just typically look at numbers. Uh, we can't. I was just asking if you know anybody that actually called him out by name and it sounded like it might be right. Uh, but outside of that, I mean, the guy's an athlete, right? Yeah, he's, he's a good athlete. Um, and I, honestly, I don't know how to pronounce his name. I don't want to butcher it. But he's a good quarterback, and I'm excited to go up against him. I know his defense will be well prepared. Um, listen, I, I occasionally will watch military movies. And it seems like the best attacks, well, by nature, they're sneak attacks, right? That you don't know they're coming. So everyone's talked quarterbacks. Everyone's talked running backs and wide receivers and Hugh Freeze's scheme and this and that all camp long. And I feel like over on your side of the ball, it's been this sneaky little defense all of a sudden coming together. <laughs> and here comes the Auburn defense. What can Auburn fans expect defensively this year? Well, they can expect a defense is going to play really hard. It's going to fly to the ball like maniacs, and they're going to expect a defense that's going to, you know, try to create a lot of turnovers. I think everybody knows in this league, you know, it's about defense. You got to be able to stop and run. You got to be able to defend. You play against the best and with the best, so you know you're not going to be able to win any games if you don't, you know, play high level uh, brand of football on defense. So we're excited to put that 
on tape every single day. Well, I, I'm interested about your defensive lineman because for you, for you to make plays, you got to have some some dogs up in the trenches that are eating up some blockers. How are those guys progressing? Because there were some question marks there. Oh, they're progressing really well. We have guys with a ton of SEC experience and a ton of football experience. I think first when you look at you know Jason Jones, Marcus Harris, and Justin Rogers, those three guys have SEC experience, playing at the highest level, and are uh, veteran guys who you know don't shy away from any contact or anyone at any point. And then we look at uh, Masai and you look at uh, Lawrence Johnson. Those two guys have experience in the Big Ten, a uh, ton of experience playing football as well. So they're going to help bolster that uh, inside unit as well. So uh, I feel comfortable and confident in our unit uh, up front and in the middle. And I know they feel the same way about themselves. Elijah McAllister is with us on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. Um, listen, I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to take a shot at your former school of Vandy, but it, it's not the biggest stadium. You know that. This it, Hugh Freeze talked about it himself. He's like, I've never been a head coach of a team that's got this many fans behind us at a home stadium. You haven't played in that situation yet. What is that going to be like, do you think, at Jordan-Hare Stadium Saturday afternoon? Well, honestly, I've never experienced it from a home standpoint. And, you know, again, I love my time at Vanderbilt and I enjoyed the fans there. And that experience is so unique and I'm so thankful for that. Um, nonetheless, like Coach Free said, he's never been a part of something like this as a coach. I've never been something. I've never been a part of something like this as a player. So just being able to go out there, even like the tradition, the Tiger Walk, the Eagle Flight, the amount of fans that are going to be there. It's already sold out game. I'm just excited to be able to play at this university and honestly just feel – a sense of, I wouldn't say accomplishment, but just a sense of pride of the things I'm putting out on the field every single day. Do you have a game day routine on Saturdays? I mean, do you have like something, you, you got to eat something, you're wearing something? Man, I wouldn't say like a routine that I stick to. I'm kind of just depends on how I feel, but there's two things that I do make sure I do all the time. And I always put my left sock, left shoe on before my right. I don't know why, I just always have. I do I too. Eat. Really? Yeah, and then I eat two Reese's peanut butter cups, two refrigerated Reese's peanut butter cups, right before the coin toss. So, you know, I've, I've been a captain the last two years, and again this year, so we go out a little earlier than the than the team. So I'll eat two Reese's peanut butter cups, refrigerated ones. Got to be a little cold right before coin toss. They are okay. better cold. Okay, yeah, I agree completely. Here's what we're gonna do for you: our our uh, Auburn grad Taylor Corn. She handles our social media. This part will not be in there, by the way. She's gonna Pickle. clip that out. We're gonna tag Reese's. And we're going to see if we can get you a little NIL deal, so you're not paying for those Reese's cups yeah, anymore. We're, we're going to try to split. We're going to try to split that one with you. Yeah. No, no, no. You don't have to tip us out. This one's <laughs> this, this is, away business from, man. from us to yeah. you. Yeah. This will be a gift to you. There, you watch this work, okay? See if we can get he's that for you. Back since high school, so I've been doing this since my sophomore year of high school. So, I, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So he's, he's spent a lot with them. Yeah, They're going to give a little back. We yeah. hope. Yeah. So yeah. see, there you go. There's That's right. that little part can make it in. Taylor's a good editor there, so yeah. we're going we're gonna to try to do that for you. Um, so much so now I forgot what I was going to well, ask. Well, I've got a question. Yeah. Uh, Elijah McAllister is with us on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. Auburn team captain, newly minted. Uh, are you a tails never fails guy at the coin toss? Do you call heads? Do you call tails? Is it a gut feeling? What do you do? I call heads every time. Heads every time. Why so? Do you have a good history on this? Because you've been a team captain at Bandy for a couple of years. I have a great history on it. I don't know the numbers, but I know I'm probably about 80, 85% on winning tosses just wow. from the heads. Oh. Is Hugh Freeze a defer or take the ball guy? I don't know. We haven't talked about that. Usually we talk about it right before we're about to walk out. So I guess, you know, I have that conversation. Um, who knows? Well, really no, you know, just make I'm... the decision. Don't even, he's That's got right. don't so even much ask stuff coach. going on. <laughs> you know what? I, I got this. I got this, Hugh. <laughs> you see this seal on my jersey? Yeah. I got this. <laughs> I don't think it's going to matter. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm biased. I like to get the defense out there on the field and, do what we do to start the game off but again he's an offensive minded coach you so know we'll what see. i would defer because you're not going to be playing in the second half anyway because wow. you guys are going to have this big lead yeah. so it'll give you one more series to go on and get in there don't so paint him into defer. a corner don't yeah. paint him into a corner uh so left shoe and sock you put shock sock and shoe on both yes and i tie it up and then i do uh, my right yeah, so you don't, don't go do sock that's, sock, that's, sock, very, shoe, that's shoe. very regimented right there yeah that's i mean shoe. Okay, but here's the scenario. So you've got uh, your left sock on, your left shoe on, but then something happens. A person breaks in or there's a fire alarm or something. Now you're running out with one sock, one shoe, and barefoot on the other. Now you're now, see two socks. You're an even runner at that point. Honestly, I've been doing it for so long. I feel like my body might have been able to balance it out and just figure it out. So <laughs> I got one side left. Like, oh, we've been doing this forever, so let's do it. So do, do most of your socks now have an L or an R on them? 
the more casual we've gotten since we've started our venture, all of my socks are pretty much casual socks. And so I, they're labeled. So they're easy now, I know, left and right. Same for you? Yeah, same for me. And I'm telling you, there's times where you just pick up a pair of socks and it's got the L and R on it. And then you see the right sock and you just put it on, but you don't know it's the right sock. You put it on the left. I can't do that. I'll I can't do it, it either. You're OCD <laughs> like me, my friend. <laughs> yeah, I, I got to make sure the left is with the L and the right star. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, good luck Saturday afternoon. We look forward to seeing this team out there against UMass 230 kick, Jordan Hare Stadium on ESPN. Elijah McAllister will be with us at this time each week. Good luck, man. We look forward to it. Thank you very much. I'll see you all next week. War Eagle. All right, buddy. Take care. Elijah McAllister with us on the Johnston RV Center.com hotline.